In a world of evil and good, such as the world of superheroes, you think it would be pretty easy to stick to just one side, right? You're either a good guy or a bad guy. It should be as simple as that, but it seems like it's actually not, as many of our favorite heroes have turned their backs on their teammates throughout the years. What is going on all you nerdy folk out there? My name is Jack, welcome back to Top 10 Nerd, and welcome to part two of Top 10 Marvel Avengers Who Are Traitors. Now David did a fantastic job in part one of this video, so if you haven't checked it out already, you should totally do that. You can find it in our Top 10 Marvel playlist or on our channel just under videos. Now I am going to be taking over for him and we will be taking a look at a few more times where some members of the Avengers defected to the villainous side of things and just straight up betrayed the Avengers, whether they meant to or not. Let's get right into it, everyone. Number 10, Tony Stark. Yet another time where Tony has gone off the rails a little bit, this time taking place in the Axis event, in which the morality of Earth's heroes and villains were reversed by magic. While the spell was undone, the now corrupt Tony managed to shield himself and thus retain his evil personality, even though most of Earth's heroes reverted back to their usual selves. With his still vast intellect and suave personality, this darker Tony was able to infiltrate society and build an empire for himself, growing into an egotistical monster, releasing the extremist 3.0 virus to the public as an app addicting people to the substance and then depriving them of any further upgrades until they paid his fee of $100 per day. This caused a ton of suffering as a large portion of society basically became addicts and were enslaved to Tony's will. Now like I said though, this Tony retained his intelligence. He knew exactly what he had to do to balance his cruelty in order to prevent the world from rising up against him. So he engaged in hostile takeovers of many companies, forcing them to promote his extremist apps through blackmail and even went as far as unleashing an army of advanced drones to act as personal police force. By every definition of the word, he just became a tyrant. Number 9, Ant-Man. During Marvel's Secret Empire event, you know the one where Captain America revealed himself to be the supreme leader of Hydra, Ant-Man, like many of the other heroes, naturally sided with the hero side of things and was a dedicated member of the underground. That is, until his daughter Cassie was abducted by Hydra and he was forced to not only comply with their every demand, but also report to them all the plans of the underground resistance. While many of the plans he relayed weren't too major, he was forced to tell Hydra when the heroes managed to find two fragments of the Cosmic Cube, and that resulted in Hydra showing up at the Underground's doorstep. I will say though, to his merit, he did confess that he was involved with Hydra and tried to make amends for doing wrong by the team, but, and he also played a huge role in restoring Steve Rogers when the Cosmic Cube reformed. Now if you've got the time, this storyline definitely deserves a read, starting with 2017 Secret Empire Volume 1, number 0. Number 8, Avenger X. When the Avengers initially sought out to track down the Stranger alongside the X-Men, Professor X used Cerebro to locate and rescue Cressida from the cosmic being and upon first glance she seemed like the perfect weapon. Her powers augmented the strength and abilities of her teammates, allowing them to take on groups of supervillains with ease. As she was explaining what she was capable of, Scarlet Witch cut her off and just offered her a spot on the team, which honestly made sense because who wouldn't want someone like that on their team? But what they didn't realize is that there was actually a huge cost that comes along with her powers. In order to empower anybody and increase their abilities, she has to drain the lives of everyone and everything around her. And while they were unaware of this, Cressida was plotting to use this power of hers to finally end the Avengers for good, taking them down from the inside by absorbing their powers instead of empowering them. Captain America was the one who confronted Avenger X, and with her plot to divide the Avengers folded, Cressida disclosed the true extent of her abilities by siphoning the Avengers' life force and, utilize, and utilizing their combined powers to quickly defeat them. Number 7, Vision. Now if you know Vision, then you know that he's not usually one to portray his team unless there is a quote-unquote perfectly logical reason for it. There was the time after he linked up with a super community from Titan and he thought the only way he could protect her was for him to run it himself. At first he only wanted some additional power and he helped Hawkeye establish the West Coast Avengers to expand the Avengers' influence and even met with the leader of the free world about making the leader of the Avengers a cabinet position. When his schemes didn't give him the control he wanted in Avengers number 253, he took over nearly every computer on the planet, starting with the machines that controlled the world's weapons, and he went, let's just say, a little bit crazy with power. Interestingly enough though, that wasn't the only time Vision betrayed the Avengers, as there was the time that his actions cost the Avengers the trust of the federal government. Vision's difficulties with balancing his emotions got the best of him after he became the leader of the team. In trying to create world peace, Vision tried to kick control of the world's computers and defense systems. He was opposed by the Avengers, who had to launch an attack on their own headquarters just to defeat him. Vision eventually realized his mistake and tried to atone for his crime, but unfortunately the damage was already done. Number 6, Quicksilver. Pietro Maximoff started off his costume career as Quicksilver on the wrong side of the law, working with his sister Wanda on Magneto's Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Eventually deciding to reform, Pietro and Wanda would join the first new lineup of the Avengers alongside another former criminal, Hawkeye, 
under the leadership of Captain America. Quicksilver blamed the Avengers for his strained relationship on his sister and his wife, and he gave government information to get back at them. In 1986, the East and West Coast Avengers were playing baseball when they received a surprise visit from the Freedom Force, a group of X-Men villains released from prison to work for the government. Mystique, leader of the Freedom Force, announced to the Avengers that they were to be arrested for treason. And after a fierce battle with the Freedom Force, Captain America agreed to surrender. At a hearing, the Avengers were told that someone had obtained proof that Vision's attempt to gain control of the world's computers was actually a plot engineered by the Avengers themselves. And the Avengers demanded to know who their accuser was, and after much suspense, the traitor was revealed to be none other than Quicksilver. Number 5. Sandman to his merit, Sandman did actually make an attempt to reform. He received a full pardon for all his misdeeds and even served as a reserve member of the Avengers for a time. During his run as a hero, he was actually able to make friends with his former enemy Spider-Man, but sadly good things don't last forever, not even in comic books. In 1999, Sandman turned his back on his fellow heroes and joined up with his old partners from the Frightful Four, Wizard and Trapster. It wasn't entirely his fault since the Wizard used his ID machine to bring out the evil side of Sandman once again, but still. Sandman used the trust he had gained with Spider-Man to his advantage, allowing him a chance to take him by surprise. In returning to his villainous ways, Sandman not only betrayed Spider-Man, but the Avengers as well, causing his membership to be revoked. Number 4. Swordsman The Swordsman was Hawkeye's mentor and a criminal who tried to join the Avengers just so that he could take advantage of the benefits. When they turned him away, he was approached by Iron Man's arch enemy, the Mandarin, who gave him a new sword and a special mission to infiltrate the Avengers and destroy them from the inside. Mandarin engineered a plot to trick the Avengers into thinking that Iron Man had vouched for the Swordsman. The ploy actually worked, and Swordsman was allowed entry, but not without gaining the suspicion of his new teammates. And honestly, rightly so, because Swordsman planted a bomb in, in Avengers Mansion, just as he was told to, but began to have second thoughts because of the feelings he had developed for Scarlet Witch. When he tried to remove the bomb, he was caught by Captain America and forced into a fight. Despite the Swordsman's betrayal, years later, he was actually forgiven and welcomed back onto the team alongside his wife, Mantis. Honestly, I really think the Avengers are just a little bit too trusting sometimes. Number 3. Dr. Druid While most would consider Dr. Druid to be a pretty obscure member of the Avengers, he's actually spent enough time with the team to make his eventual betrayal memorable. Dr. Druid is a sorcerer who practices Celtic magic that he picked up from the Ancient One. His magical abilities are overshadowed by another one of the Ancient One's peoples, Dr. Strange, of course. I know it seems like he is just a minor character, but trust me, he is not. Dr. Druid was still a fairly new addition to the Avengers when he had the sudden impulse to become its leader. He started out by undermining the current leader, Captain Marvel, aka Monica Rambeau. He questioned every move she made and constantly stated that the Avengers needed a much stronger leader. And when Captain Marvel had to temporarily step down for medical reasons, Dr. Druid used his mental powers to manipulate the Avengers into electing him as the leader in Avengers number 294. And in this time, he also forced She-Hulk to fight her fellow Avengers, which ultimately led to her quitting the team. As it turned out, though, Druid himself had been under the control of Kang's wife, Ravana, who used him to gain control of the rest of the Avengers, and after Druid was defeated and lost in the time stream, the Avengers actually disbanded for a while. Number 2, Wonder Man. The ionic energy-powered superhero Wonder Man has a long history with the Avengers that goes all the way back to his debut in Avengers number 9 in 1964, the same issue in which he also died. Wonder Man was resurrected years later and has become a staple in the Avengers ever since, either serving on the main Avengers team or in the West Coast branch. When Simon Williams first joined the Avengers, his life actually depended on betraying them, and here I'll explain why. Wonder Man acquired his powers from Baron Zemo and the Masters of Evil. Zemo used an experimental ionic ray to give him his powers, but the effects would end him if he had didn't receive a weekly antidote. In order to get that antidote, Wonder Man had to infiltrate the Avengers ranks and deliver them to the Masters of Evil. Wonder Man led his new team into an ambush, but changed his mind when the fighting started. He helped the Avengers defeat the Masters of Evil even though it meant giving up the antidote. Without Zemo's antidote, Wonder Man seemingly perished, but would eventually return and rejoin the Avengers. Another instance of betrayal by Wonder Man took place in the 2000s when he started being much more aggressive and hateful towards his former teammates. He believed that the Avengers were a disease that was destroying the world instead of making it better. The tension between Wonder Man and the Avengers came head to head when he gathered a team called the Revengers, a small group of heroes and villains with bitter feelings towards the Avengers. Wonder Man led his team in an all out assault against the Avengers. When Wonder Man was defeated though, it was determined that his ionic energy was actually having an effect on his brain. And when he was finally cured, Wonder Man just apologized for all the trouble he caused, but he still was a traitor nonetheless. And number one, the protector. Novar is a Kree soldier who sided with Earth during the Secret Invasion. After taking the name Captain Marvel, the same name used by the Kree hero Marvel, he joined Osborn's Avengers. After leaving the team, he became a member of the official Avengers team as the Protector. He served them very well for a time, and until Avengers vs. X-Men, which saw the world threatened by the coming of the Phoenix Force. 
The Avengers needed all hands on deck, meaning it was a bad time for one of their own to turn into a traitor. He betrayed the Avengers during the events of Avengers vs. X-Men, although he didn't actually side with the X-Men. If the Protector had his way, he would have helped the Avengers stop the Phoenix Force and continue to serve on their team. But as a Kree warrior, Novar felt compelled to comply with the Supreme Intelligence, who ordered him to steal the Phoenix Force sample from the Avengers and deliver it to the Kree Empire. Novar obeyed, even though the sample was a critical piece of the Avengers' plan to stop the Phoenix Force. When the Protector learned the Kree wouldn't honor their responsibility to protect Earth, he stole the sample back and wanted to rejoin the Avengers. The Avengers, however, wanted absolutely nothing to do with him, and honestly, I can't blame them. That'll be it for this video, everyone. If you feel like we missed another one of your favorite moments where an Avenger betrayed the team, let us know in the comments below, and maybe we'll continue this list with a part three. If you haven't already, subscribe to Top 10 Nerd to stay up to date on all things nerdy, and while you're at it, why not ring that notification bell so you know whenever we upload a video. As always, my name is Jack. Thank you all so much for watching, and make sure to stay nerdy, my friends.